Here's absolutely everything that you need to know from the angels for the week beginning March 29th, 2021. Let's get into it. Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning March 29th, 2021. How are you? How are things? What have you learned about yourself? <laughs> okay, this might be a really incredible time where you're like, all right, you know, I'm done with all this nonsense. I'm gonna let this go. But you know, it doesn't, you know, I don't mean to make it sound like every situation that you find yourself going through that it's frustrating. I mean, you might have come to peace. You might have realized, okay, you know, maybe that's that relation. Because we were talking so much about divine counterparts last week. Maybe that relationship isn't going to be a love partnership. But what about a friendship? Is it turning into something beautiful in that way? So, see what has happened for you this week. See how you're feeling. Definitely check in with yourself. I'm going to be using the same decks that I was using last week. And I have an extra fuzzy sweater on today, so the fuzzies are everywhere. But I like it. I like the sweater. It's crazy. It's a crazy sweater. <laughs> All right. What do we have going on here? Okay, so some of you are still in deep turmoil. Some of you, um, you know, as always, remember, if you are going through a very, very hard time, make sure you reach out for help, okay? Doing your spiritual practices, that's all well and good, but make sure you're really letting those lessons come through and you're moving through whatever, if it's an addiction, make sure you have an addiction specialist for you. Let's drop the deck, you know how it goes. <laughs> all right, what do we have guys? What do we have, what do we have? There it is. All right, so we have Jade, be the bigger person. Some of you guys were probably having those arguments if someone's coming, oh, this is a continuation. So the turmoil has to do with how this contrast between how you see yourself and how others are seeing you. And it is really easy for us to fall into doubting ourselves. And if somebody gives us feedback, I mean, you got to balance this. Sometimes we get feedback, we want to take it. But if someone is just out to hurt you and just out to win, you know, it's their chance to reject you now. So now they're going to ignore you. Ugh. Let the childish games be in the past, all right? You be the bigger person. And what this is going to do is this is going to keep helping you with that uh, heart healing and helping you uh, become prosperous through your heart, okay? So lots of inspiration, lots of beautiful things, lots of beautiful releasing, but maybe you have to take it on yourself to make it happen. Red Jasper, did we have this last week? Why does this look familiar? Uh, take action. <laughs> take action to find your own sense of security and safety and to move away from toxicity. Now this, you know, it gets really easy to judge other people and be like, oh my God, they're so toxic. I gotta move away from them, blah, blah, you know, the whole thing. <laughs> but this is about you taking accountability for your own life and creating your own story and being grounded. Yes, so being in the now moment, being grounded, this might mean that uh, some of those fantasies and, you know, I wonder what would have happened if I got with that person or what would my life be like if I moved to that place or, you know, all that. It's nice to dream, but you have to make sure that it's not taking you out of the present moment. I was just saying we have to be accountable for our, how our lives go. And Ocean Jasper is all about creating the life that you want. What is the picture of your life? Uh, so and I guess there's picture Jasper too. It's making me think of that. But I'm looking at this particular crystal and every time it comes up, there's all these patterns, right? So what are you creating in your life through your patterns? Yes, what do you want it to look like? So this says, schedule yourself in. So this is about the self, I can, I can hold cards, I swear. Let's just try this here, <laughs> okay? <laughs> this is all about um, still acknowledging, understanding, working through, coming through. That way you can release yourself. But the problem is, is that we often get into this uh, patterning, uh, yet another pattern of cycling around, pushing so hard on getting through. Remember, it's all about balancing and being grounded and taking things as they come and releasing them as they are ready to be released. So don't push, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, Chris Acola, start fresh. Here you go. This is exactly how we come through. So 
last week, this week, there are probably some very hard self-realizations coming up. Um, some of us may not have understood what was going on and we wanted to throw a tantrum. We wanted to throw a fit. We wanted to keep pushing and pushing. I just want to be over this. I just want to be through this. I get people who come to me for readings and you know, a lot of times people are like, what do I need to do? What's the formula so that I can just stop what this is and get on to something else? And it's really not a formula. <laughs> when we come to soul contracts and soul evolution and soul growth, it is something that, you know, you might have something that's kind of like a tower moment, but for the most part, it can be very subtle. And just these subtle aha moments of, okay, now I understand, I need to let that go, okay? And, and so don't, don't run away, but don't push. Have an equilibrium here, all right? Like you don't, you don't have to keep shoving ahead to make stuff happen, nor will it stick is what they're saying. So, <laughs> yeah. so if, if I think what that is, is like you're tr trying too hard to, oh my gosh, trying too hard to rush ahead. These aren't it, okay, got it. Okay, there's too many. <laughs> there's too, oh, they're flying everywhere. What is happening? I've lost control, you guys. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna start that again because there's just all over the place. But um, sometimes we try to rush through our lessons so quickly, we think we, we've come through, we've healed, and then it resurfaces. And then we're in denial. We're like, no, 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 I healed that. What are you talking about? I'm not dealing with that again. But if you take your time, they're saying it doesn't have to be painful. Detach from the situation. Okay, so we have a, a thing here where we have a lot of energy vampires that are coming in. They're getting really uncomfortable. The world is cracking open. Uh, people are feeling lost. I'm going to make a video about that. People are feeling lost and so they want to grab on and start siphoning off of other people's energy. And it's just not okay. So detach uh, from the situation. Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and this situation. So some of you might be contending with something where there's a lot of interference. People are just sticking their noses in. They are uh, convincing you, convincing another person, convincing an entire group of people of who you are. This is just to get your energy. It's to see if they can get your attention, okay? So you don't have to participate in the drama you define who you are, no one else does, and who you are is only someone else's business if you make it their business, okay? So you don't have to keep going down the road of some toxic, uh, you know, love situation, work situation, living environment, whatever you're involved with right now. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to completely quit something, but don't play games. Do not, don't allow yourselves to be pulled into other people's uh, whim, whims and will and, you know, messing with you all right positive thoughts create positive results uh divine love and wisdom i call upon you now i know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you i ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation this is interesting because you know toxic positivity right these this is an old deck and this was very much from the era when it was all about that, right? Sidestepping toxic positivity. So this isn't wrong. It's not wrong that, you know, um, you wanna get into a positive space uh, and see the love within everybody. That's a, that's a good way to go, I suppose. However, <laughs> however, when we say detach from the situation and get into positive thinking, it doesn't mean, oh my gosh, you're so toxic, so I have to detach myself from you because I'm better than you and I'm blah, blah, blah. You know that whole thing? We ain't doing that. We have no tolerance for that here. Try to find, get yourself into a space of clarity. That's what Archangel Michael helps with. And then you will be able to start taking, part of the positivity they're saying is taking accountability for your part in it. We were talking about that last week. So having this, um, maybe you want to call it reframing, having this deeper understanding and saying, okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Let me move on from this. It, it's going to be all right kind of thing. And uh, not, not dragging yourself down in worry and stress around a certain situation okay all right so let's get our color card aha oh <laughs> here we are apricot rejoice and laugh the number is 20. it is about a lot of releasing and healing through that release and allowing yourself to maybe move away from a situation uh for some of you out there we were talking about divine counterparts this could be the kind of thing where <laughs> 
deck fell off my lap. It's slippery, okay? It's just, it's real slippery. Uh, this might be this kind of thing where you've worked through whatever lesson you were supposed to with that divine counterpart, and maybe you're moving away from them, and you have other options, okay? You don't have to be hung up in some cycle, some karmic cycle even for some of you, where you're being dragged down, your life is not your own, you're, you know, the thoughts are distracting you day in and day out. It's time to release all of that. Now the world is gonna be shifting and changing, I'm telling you, there's going to be so many things that are coming up that might be really mind boggling. Hopefully we'll get into smoother waters as we come into this week a little bit more, but I think we're coming out of a big shift. If you watched some of my earlier videos, you know I said that um, 2021 felt like there was a hook around the first few months, like sort of 2020 energy coming around the first few months of 2021. So now I think we're shifting out of that. We'll see what that looks like. Uh, I think we're going to see lots of uh, innovation and old structures crumbling and people having to resonate with that change by changing themselves. We're going to learn that we can't look outside of ourselves so much for our happiness because that's not steady, nor is it authentic to you. That's asking someone else to define your happiness. So what brings you joy? Tune into that this week. Let that be your meditation practice. And we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.